There it is, the RD7. Hasn't run for six, seven years, probably since it was parked in here in the new building. So the goal for today is to uh, get this thing running. Uh, all the controls are free. I don't see any big issues. I did try and run it uh, about a week ago and had no spark on the magneto. Uh, but I did get gasoline coming down from the, uh, the tank down to the carburetor. I see no reason why the, the carburetor shouldn't be decent. It looks okay. If we have problems with that, then we'll start taking that apart. Uh, but uh, today, I think we're going to put the magneto uh, back on it. Took the mag off, cleaned the points, uh, just a general cleanup inside. And it looks like it's got good hot spark now. Do have the book uh, for the machine, so that's a bonus. And the book tells us to go inside this uh, compartment here. We get access to the flywheel. There should be some marks up here to get it properly timed with the little engine. So we got a good mag, we got the book. What could go wrong? Now yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, so we're into the book a little bit, and that's been very helpful. It's got a good section on setting up your uh, magneto to the engine. It's got a nice photo of uh, setting up the magneto with, uh, with the distributor in the correct spot through this little uh, ventilated window. Unfortunately, our magneto is a little bit more modern, and it does not have that, that little window. But uh, no big deal. Just take the distributor cap off, and you can determine where the rotor is and the little finger for the, uh, the contact over the number one cylinder. So I think we've got our magneto set up correctly. Uh, the other thing that's very important on these magnetos is the direction of rotation. And you can see the arrow here. It notes that the magneto turns turns counterclockwise as viewed down this shaft. So um, I thought I'd get smart and just grab one off the shelf. I had a, a nice new magneto. It looked the same on the outside. Had the impulse coupling. looked all the same with the exception of this uh, direction of rotation arrow was quite different. So I'm glad I looked at that, but just note that that's very important. And the other item on the next page it shows us how to uh, set up your your little engine. So uh, through this uh, cover that I've removed, you can see the the flywheel and the marks on the flywheel to line up with marks on this uh, casting here. So we've got it set up, and it says to come up on uh, number one compression. It says hold your finger over the uh, spark plug hole and determine that you're coming up on compression on number one. Hmm. Problem is, which one is number one? So I'm just going to assume that this is one and this is two. I think that'll work for us. I'm just going to go with that. So I've got uh, this side. We're just going to call it the number one coming up on compression. The mark seems to be in the right spot. And the rotation here on the coupler seems to be correct. So let's, uh, let's throw our mag on there and see what that looks like. So I've got the coupler. Where is that? So with the mag set up where I think is correct and the engine set up where I believe is correct, sure enough, our coupling seems to work out fine also. So I think it's the correct spot. So we're just going to go with that and bolt it up and see what happens. And I can just barely reach the crank up in the front and be able to hold my finger on the number one cylinder, front cylinder, what I think is the number one. So I can rotate it in the correct direction. And there it is coming up on compression. So right in there somewhere, it's going to spark. I see the points are coming open. And if you look at the distributor cap, Looks like that finger on the rotor is going to line up with this 
position here on the distributor cap. So, and it just so happens that if I look at the cap, somebody, not me, has marked an F on there. So that tells me it's probably the front of the engine and uh, snow marks on that one. So I feel pretty good about this being uh, what I'm calling the number one cylinder or the front cylinder. So put that distributor cap on and see how it goes from there. And hopefully that's all there is to it for the Magneto. It's all bolted up. Wires are back on. Uh, plugs are back in. Uh, we did check for oil in the system. That looks alright. Yeah, probably leave the, the clutch housing open for now. In case we need to make changes. So I think it's ready to, to give it a pull here. Let's take his party hat off. Off the exhaust. And... Uh, so it's got fuel fuels on down to the carburetor, reset the camera, and uh, give it a pull, see what happens. Well, that's good so we know the magneto is timed uh, properly it seems to run fine so now i think the problem is is uh, fuel so get the fuel system figured out and give it another go well surprise surprise i did have to take the carburetor off uh, it wasn't getting fuel anymore uh, uh, so it took the carb off and cleaned out all the passages and then uh, anything i could get to gave it a good inspection i did find the Needle valve, the float needle valve was, was stuck with some debris in it, so that's why the, the bowl wasn't filling, it wasn't getting fuel. So that's all taken care of. Got a good refresh on the carburetor. I don't expect any more issues with that. We'll give the uh, air cleaner a, a refresh, get it back on the machine, and, um, and continue. Got the gas lanes running free and clear down to the carburetor. I did take this uh, banjo fitting off and get it cleaned up as well. There's a fine mesh screen uh, inside there that needed some cleaning. But uh, everything's back uh, where it should be. And all the jets and orifices, everything's clean inside the carburetor, should be good to go. Cleaned up the uh, intake uh, filter, some fresh oil in that, and also checked the oil, of course, in the crankcase.
All right, some progress here on the RD7. We got the starting engine is running real nice. Got the diesel turning over with the uh, oil pressure. I know there's diesel fuel in the seat tank. So uh, I'm watching the smoke up there. Looks like it's not getting uh, fuel to the uh, diesel engine. So the next uh, step looks like is to bleed these uh, injector lines and hopefully get this thing to light off. So that's gonna be the end of uh, part one. I uh, hope to see you back for for part two, we'll do a proper walk around here on the old uh, RD7.